The Red Badge of Courage is the story of another kid in a hurry, Henry Fleming. The novel, written by Stephen Crane in 1895, is set during the American Civil War. Fire! 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 Henry Fleming thinks he'll be Mr. Big Stuff, covered in glory, if he leaves his quiet life on the farm and joins the army. But his mother knew war was no game, and she didn't want a dead hero for a son. So, this is goodbye, Henry. Now, don't go acting like you'll beat the whole army of rebels single-handed. And if you want to be a man, don't think bragging, spitting, and cussing will make you one. But, Mama, I am a man. I just know I can do something big. Just come back home, and then maybe, one day, you'll grow up, and maybe then you'll be a man. Promise me you'll be careful. Ma, I already promised. Promise again. Okay, okay, I promise. Now, Mama, I've got to go. Goodbye. I love you. After joining the army, all Henry did was wait. The men were nervous and excited. Their pent-up energy was about to explode. Come on, Wilson! My dollar says you'll win! Knock him down! Let's see blood! Go! Come on, Fred! Go! Get in! It's gonna be a battle tomorrow. Huh? It's a battle. We're marching out in the morning. Hey. Hi, Jim. It's gonna be a battle tomorrow. A battle? But, Jim... Hey, guys, there's gonna be a battle tomorrow. Hey, a battle tomorrow! There's gonna be a battle tomorrow! I heard it myself. We're marching out in the morning. No, 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 it's true. We're going to be fighting tomorrow, boys. There's no more waiting. Hey, Henry, what do you think about that news, huh? A battle. Yeah, it's about time, I guess. Yeah, let me tell you, I want to show them Johnny Reb something they'll never forget. I'm going to pound them. I'm going to knock their dirty rebel lights out. Aren't you? Well, yeah, but Wilson, aren't you a little bit... Nervous? Nervous? <laughs> There's no way I'm nervous. No way. What are you anyway, Yella? What's eating you, Henry? Jim, have you ever wondered what a fight will be like? Did you ever ask yourself, what if I can't stand it? What if I just turn around and run? Henry, everyone wonders. And even Wilson. I was just thinking the same thing myself. Am I gonna live another day? Henry, nobody knows. Uh, you're not alone. Finally, the soldiers were moving toward their first battle. Their breakfast sat like stones in their stomachs. But in just a few minutes of marching, those stones had turned into butterflies. The soldiers dug trenches to protect themselves. But many wondered if they were digging their own graves.
<laughs> that, that wasn't so bad. But it was over. We won. I'm not here. I'm not here. It's a bad dream. A nightmare. I'll just wake up and it'll disappear. What am I doing? This isn't how it was supposed to be. I don't belong here. I'm just a kid. I don't want to be a soldier. I don't want to be a hero. I want to live. <sighs> Better. See? That squirrel isn't a coward because he's up in that tree. He's got a survival instinct. I'm not a coward. Am I? Henry's conscience caught up with him, and now he was running in the other direction. Back to the front line. I gotta find Jim and Wilson. I hope they're okay. Henry, you're alive. I'm hurt. What happened? You got caught on the big retreat, huh? Come on, I'll take you back. Raised you, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. First battle, and you've already got the red badge of courage, eh? A lot of guys couldn't stand it. Upped and ran. Poor Jim didn't have your luck. Jim? Is he dead? Best one of us all is dead, Henry. Listen, every lick of fighting we do tomorrow, Let's do it for Jim, okay? Is it a deal? For Jim. Sure makes you think, don't it? I saw a lot to make me think today. Thanks, Wilson. You're different somehow from who you were yesterday. Did you know that? You're a good man. The next day, Henry didn't know if he could face his fears. Henry, Henry, come out. Live or die, we're a team. Remember, it's all for Jim. For Jim. That's the way, Private. <laughs> You're a fierce one. If only every man would fight like you. I hope you're brave enough to do what's next. We can pry that line from their grip. We'll chase them all the way to Virginia. Can you do it? You'll lead the charge then, Private. Yes, sir! Come on, boys! Follow me! I won't leave your side, Henry. At least not till I die. Take back to the general, Henry. You led us here. And we're still alive. And Mama, it's been a big feat just to stay alive. But you knew that already. I did, Henry. 
I've decided this one will be my last war. Even one's too many. I think of you always, Mama. And I pray I'll see you again someday. Your loving son, Henry. <laughs>